friends, we're back for another 3D video. This is still Statics on a Particle. This is the end of Chapter 3. Should be about the end of this, uh, this series here before we move on to Chapter 4. So what we've got here is a little old problem. If we have a weight hanging, it's suspended by three different cables. Um, they, they ask us, if this weighs 600 newtons, find the force in these three cables here, okay? So we've got to do that. Uh, and one thing that's a little bit tricky about this problem, don't it's not going to trick us, though. We're better than that. Is that the axis system is kind of turned around here, okay? This is the z-axis. Here's the x, and there's the y. So this is below the y-axis. So this time the, y, the weight is going to be in the k-hat direction. So kind of be careful about the axis. It's, it's worked the exact same way, so don't let that fool you, okay? So, just like before, what we've got to do is this, okay? Let's draw a free body diagram of joint D, okay? Now, it's 3D. It's hard to draw, but, well, we'll give it our best shot. We got that there, one there, and one there, okay? So, there's W. And this is TDC. Now, why do we call it DC? Because that vector goes from D to C. It goes that way, right? This is TDB, and this is TDA. Okay? So, same exact technique we did last time. We're going to write the vectors in IJK form. Then we're going to write the equations of equilibrium. And then we're going to solve it. Okay? So here we go. So we have four vectors. One, two, three, four. We have W, we have T, D, A, T, D, B, and T, D, C. Okay, so there's our four vectors we need to write. Now, the only one we know is W, and W is minus 600 uh, J hat newtons, right? 600 J hat because it's in the negative Y direction. Okay. And remember, this is positive Z. Okay. This is positive X. That's negative X. That's negative Z. All right. Here we go. So, we, you know what? We got to do our lambda hat method. We got to do a bunch of them. So, we got to do this lambda hat. Let's start with the first one. Let's do a DA. Okay. Which, if it's called DA, we're going to find that by doing A minus D. It's kind of backwards there, right? Okay. So we need the coordinates of those points. Now, D is easy because it's, it would be, all this would be very easy if I put the dimensions up there. Hold on a second. There you go. Bam. Okay. <laughs> so what we've got to do, let's see. D is two meters below the origin. So it's going to be, uh, D is going to be 0 in the X, negative 2 in the Y, and 0 in the Z. Okay, and then point A, point A, where is point A? Point A is there. Point A is negative 1 in the X, and then uh, 0 in the Y, and positive 1 in the Z. So negative 1, 0, 1. All right, then we just do this little subtraction here, right? And we get our we get our position vector, and then we take that and divide it by its magnitude, and we get a unit vector. Okay, so negative 1 minus 0 is still negative 1. And then 0 minus a minus 2. And then 1 minus 0. So there we go. And then oh, my calculator died. Divided by square root, 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 1 squared. That's uh, like the square root of 6, isn't it? i got to get a new calculator. My daughter stole my good calculator. Okay. 4 plus 2 equals 6, and then square root of that is equal to, is equal to 2.45. So lambda hat is equal to 1 divided by 2.45, which is 0 0.408, negative, and then plus 0.816 j hat, 
uh, and then plus 0 0.408 k hat. Okay, so let's take that and put it in here for TDA. Negative 0 0.408 i hat plus 0.816 j hat plus 0 0.408 k hat. All right. Now, um, point B. Point B is over here. All right, so here we go. We're going to do the same thing. Lambda. B A is A minus B. Okay. No. What am I doing here? We're doing, we're doing a D B. Duh. D B, which is B minus D. I don't know what I was doing there. You ever do crazy stuff, or is it just me? Okay, D I already know. Zero minus two, zero, and then B. Okay, in the X direction, it's gonna be minus uh, three. In the Y direction is zero, and in the Z, it's minus two, isn't it? Okay, so here we go. Minus three I hat, and then zero minus a minus two. 2j hat, and then minus 2 minus 0, still minus 2k hat, divided by 3 squared plus 2 squared plus 2 squared square root, okay? So what is that? Uh, 4 and 4 is 8 plus 9 is 17, so square root of 17 is equal to 4.123 So my lambda is negative, three divided by that is uh, 0 0.728. That's I hat plus two divided by 4.123, All right, and that's our lambda hat DB. So let's put that here. So T, DB times, okay, negative 0.7288 I hat plus 0.485 J hat minus 0.485 K hat, okay? One more time, okay? And this one actually is not quite as hard because look here, we've got the force going up this way. It's two here and two there, which means this angle here is 45 degrees, okay? This actually is not a 3D vector. Now you can still do it the exact same way. Don't let me throw you off. I'm just gonna show you a different way. You can still do it like this and get the exact same thing, okay? But this guy here, this vector has two components. It has a little X component and it has a Y component, right, going uphill, okay? And what is that? It's gonna be this. It's gonna be uh, in the X, it's gonna be T, D, C, uh, sine 45 I hat, and that's in the positive direction, and then plus T, D, C, cos 45, and that's in the J hat, positive, right? Mm -hmm. So, just a different way of doing it. You get the exact same thing if you go ahead and do it the lambda hat method, okay? So, whatever's easiest for you. I just like to show you some different tricks so that you have a lot of, lot of options. Okay, folks, we're almost to the good part here, which is the answer, right? Almost. Okay, our next step is we need to write our equations of equilibrium, librium, librium. Here we go. Sum of the forces, forces in the x, x, x. The, uh, that's some good sound effects. All right. Here we go. Let's see if we can write these equations. Now, what goes in the x? All the i hat stuff. What goes in the y? All the j hat stuff. What goes in the z? All the k hat stuff. And so here we go. Now again, I'm gonna keep these all tabulated in nice columns so that it's easy to put in my system solver and get the answer, right? 
Okay, so here we go. First one, I'm gonna do TDA first. So negative 0 0.408 TDA, that's I hat. I'm not, I don't have to put an I hat in here because this is a scalar equation. All these are in the I hat, right? Negative, no, positive, sorry. I'm gonna do that next one there. Oh, I made a mess on my board. 0.816 TDA. And then the last one, 0 0.408 positive. Okay. And then TDB is going to be negative 0.728 TDB. And then 0.485 TDB. And then the last one is that guy over there, negative 0.485 TDB. Okay, now I'll do TDC, which is a, uh, it's got an I hat, right? Plus, and sine of 45, that's 0 0.707, I happen to know that, 0 0.707 TDC, okay? And then J hat also, 0 0.707 TDC. And this guy down here, we could do this, right? Zero TDC. He doesn't have any Z component, but at least I put him in there. I'm, I keep my uh, table nice and clear here, right? And then, right, equals zero, equals zero. Oh, no, equals zero. But in the Y equation, right, there's one more in the Y equation, and that's that guy, right? Now, I could put minus 600, or I could move him to the other side and call him positive 600, okay? So I've got variable x, variable y, variable z, and then constants over there, which is exactly what my um, calculator ah, wants to see. All right, here we go. So we go to second, system solver. We go to a three by three, enter, and we just enter this stuff in, okay? So negative, uh-oh, negative 0 0.408, enter. Negative 0.728, enter. 0 0.707, enter. Zero, enter. Next line, 0.816, enter. 0.485, enter. Okay. Uh, and then 0 0.707, enter. And then 600. Enter. All right, here we go. Next one, 0 0.408, enter. Negative 0 0.485, enter. Zero, enter. And zero, enter. All right, solve. Next step, solve. Boom. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, here's what it gives me. X, which is the very first column I put in, right, which is T, D, A. The calculator says that's, 267.3, and this was in uh, this was in Newtons, wasn't it? Okay. The next one, TDB. Let's see. Go downhill. Point. The next one is 224.9 Newtons. One more. And the last one, which is TDC. TDC is 385.8 Newtons, okay? And so, boom, there's my answer. So if you're very systematic about solving these problems, they take a while to do, but they're not hard, right? Draw your free body diagram. Find all of your vectors. Fill out your equations of equilibrium. And then if you have your system solver, now you could do the algebra but I, you can also poke yourself in the eye. Why would you want to do that, right? When you have a system solver on your calculator, boom, answers done. Next problem, thank you very much. See you next video.